Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho, back with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about kind of single-ended balance cables, which ones do you use, and why does the wiring work? And the whole point of this kind of video really came about because of this headphone. This is the Odyssey MM100. It's wired a little differently from your typical headphones like these Hyphenman headphones, which are wired kind of left and right. They're, you know, they're much more easily understood. And then we have more traditional type of like gaming headphones, which basically, you know, are wired to have the left, the right, and a microphone. So we'll talk about all the different cables and how they work. Now there's also different connector types that, you know, we use. There's the things called like the TRS or the quarter inch adapter ones. There's the four pin XLRs and then the Pentacon cable. So we'll talk about those as well. So really I'm gonna teach you guys what cables you can use for your amplifiers and yeah, and why they work. All right, so the first scenario we're gonna cover is a typical like headphone or gaming headphone and the cable it comes with. So this is a TRRS cable and this one is, you know, a standard 3.5 millimeter cable. This is the Odyssey Maxwell, right? A typical headphone, you just plug in one side in here, the other side goes into your phone or your computer, your PC, right? You know, it's a TRS, right? So that really means T is the tip, R is the ring, the other R is the ring, and then the S is the sleeve, right? So there's actually four points of contact on this um, cable. So the first being the left audio, the right audio, then this would be the ground, and then the last one would be the microphone. So this has all the necessary kind of contacts to kind of deliver your audio signal, right? All right, so now we have a different cable, right? So this is the cable that came with the Odyssey MM100, and this cable is actually a TRS cable, so it actually has less contact points. So there's a tip, the ring, and the sleeve, right? And this actually only delivers basically the left audio, the right audio, and then the ground. So it has all the things necessary to transfer the audio. Obviously there's no microphone for the MM100, so it doesn't need it, right? So it's fine with just a TRS cable. And then it terminates into a quarter inch, which is also a TRS, right? So it has the same contact points. And that's why it works with this headphone. Now, because this one has more contact points, it actually is fine to use with the Odyssey MM100. So you can literally plug it into the left or the right of this and it will transfer audio from both sides of this headphone. And yeah, it's a safe kind of cable to use because a lot of people were complaining that with this headphone, they didn't come with an adapter for the quarter inch to a 3.5 millimeter but you could just use any type of like normal gaming headphone cable or just a 3.5 millimeter cable for it to work. So if you didn't wanna buy an adapter, you could just simply do that, right? So everything I showed you guys before was single-ended. Now we're about to talk about the balance cables. So the benefit of balance is simply that it rejects noise better and it isolates it better because it has, um, I guess, more signals is the best way to describe it. So here is a typical balance cable that you would get for a Hyphenman headphone. This is the surgical tube cable that people like to call it. So this is a 3.5 millimeter cable. So dual 3.5, that terminates into an XLR cable, which is a four pin XLR, right? So this cable is wired a little differently from your standard single ended cable. So here we have the left, right? So the left is actually a left positive and a negative and then the ground. The right has a positive, negative, and then the ground, right? And you need the positive and negative to be balanced, essentially, right? And then here on this end, we have the uh, four pin, which essentially is the, I believe it's the left positive, left negative, then right positive, and right negative. And then this is the ground for the whole entire shell. And that's basically how you get balance on a typical Hyphenman headphone, right? Now there's another cable that is also a balance cable that's basically the same wiring, right? You have the 3.5 millimeter up top, but the ending is not a four pin XLR, it's a Pentacon cable. Now the Pentacon cable is actually technically a TRRRS. So there's three R's in this one. And simply you have the tip with three rings and a sleeve, right? So how this one works is actually, it, it takes the 
uh, left positive, left negative, right positive, right negative, then you have the ground. So it has all the contact points to be balanced, right? So it's just a different type of connector head, but it is also balanced, right? Now, this leads us to, well, the original problem was a balance cable like this does not work on a headphone like the MM100 because it's wired differently. So the cable that actually works if you want to get balance on the MM100 is a different 3.5 millimeter to a Pentacon cable. So the cable we're talking about is this one. So this is the cable and essentially you have the 3.5 millimeter on the right and then the Pentacon on the left. So the 3.5 millimeter is a TRS, so it has four points. So it has the positive, negative, left, and then the right positive, negative. And then on the end, it's also a Pentacon, so it's able to deliver all the signal as well. And I've tested this cable and it works. So essentially, because of the MM100, it's designed to work with left or right. So you technically have balance on this headphone with either cup, either side. So you can plug it in the right and then plug it into your amplifier and get balanced connection. You can also just plug it on the left and you also have balanced connection due to how it's wired. So yeah, that's kind of how it works. So this is the kind of cable that you want to use. Now, the funny thing about this is that I try to find you know, this cable on Amazon, I'll link it down below, but I, the only one I could find was Fostex that makes this cable. And it was kind of like $100, which is really expensive, right? But that's literally the only thing I could find. Now, the other thing is there were cheaper like cables being sold, but they're not the right cables because they're only TRS cables, which means you wouldn't get balance if you use that cable. In fact, it might even be bad if you use it because then you'd be going single-ended into a balance connection into an amplifier and that's a bad thing. I've always been taught that that could potentially blow up your amp essentially or burn out your amp. So you definitely want to avoid that. So it's worth noting that this cable I have here is actually not bought from Amazon for $100. I actually had this from a gaming headphone that I had left over. So this headphone is actually the Audio-Technica GL3. It's a gaming headphone. And the weirdest thing about this headphone is, yeah, it's made by Audio-Technica, which is an audio company, but they use a 4.4 Pentacon as the connection. And then it terminates into like a 3.5 millimeter, which is your typical thing that you would plug into your, like your PC, right? I've never seen a company ever use that as a cable for gaming. But in this scenario, essentially, instead of being balanced, the other connections are being used to transfer the microphone instead. So this is technically single-ended with microphone um, ability, right? The point I'm trying to make is this gaming headphone costs $99 and it comes with the cable versus you could also just buy the cable for $99. But I just thought it was interesting that I had this lying around and I could repurpose it as a balanced cable for the MM100. So yeah. That's just letting you guys know. So I'll leave a link to the gaming headphone down below if you just want that with a cable, I guess, since it's the same price as a cable, which sounds kind of ridiculous to me, but yeah. I mean, all I can say is that Audio-Technica is a actual audio company. Like this is a really nice cable to use on a $100 gaming headphone, that's for sure. And it's not a very common cable, but it kind of came in clutch for me this time. So I guess thank you Audio-Technica for you know being a little bit ahead of your time. So for completeness, we have the topping A90 here. So over here we have the balance, right? Four pin XLR, which is balanced. We have the 4.4 Pentacon, which is balanced. And then we have a single ended quarter inch adapter, which is, yeah, single ended, right? So these are kind of the plugs you use to plug in. Now some amplifiers or your phone or your PC will have like 3.5 millimeter as well, right, to plug in, but that's also single ended. Really the last thing is, you know, is balance better single-ended and definitely it is better. You get less noise, less interference overall. Now, you know, it also depends on the amplifier that you plug it into. Like if you buy a balanced amplifier, you should probably be using balanced cable because it was probably wired to sound the best through balance. If you buy a single-ended amplifier, it will be fine if you just use single-ended, right? You know, those are the things to consider if you were interested in upgrading to a balance cable or not and trying to figure out how all of it works. So I hope you guys found this helpful. So in conclusion, I hope you guys found this entertaining, 
hopefully it was easy to understand. It's a little bit complicated. Hope you guys learned something. I'm gonna be making more kind of reviews on this this headphone and these headphones and doing comparisons. So if you guys are interested in that, you should definitely subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.